Hey everyone, it's Oliver Lindley here from One Number. We're Tableau education and consulting experts. And today we're gonna to chat about measure names and measure values and how to use them in Tableau. I'm sure you've seen these at the bottom of your data pane. And that's because no matter what workbook you open up, no matter what data source you're gonna to connect to, you're gonna see measure names and measure values. And these are auto-generated fields in Tableau. And Tableau uses each of these fields to represent all the measures that you have in your worksheet at any one time. So we're gonna dive into the real differences between measure names and measure values in these two examples. The first is a side-by-side -side bar chart. Currently, we're looking at sum of sales by region, but I'm just gonna drag profit onto the sales axis to create this side-by-side -side bar chart. So let's make a couple of observations because things have changed. On our columns shelf, we now have a measure values pill, and that measure values pill is a representation of all the measures that we have in our workbook. What are those measures? They are down here in this measure values card. So what we see on our column shelf is measure values, and what we can change and interact with is this measure values card. By clicking and dragging these pills, I can change the order that they're displayed in my worksheet, which is awesome. And I can drag in other measures from my data pane and drop that in to my measure values card to add or take out measures. Then we can also see on this side, our measure names pill has popped up on our rows shelf and we have measure names on our filters card. Super interesting. You'll also notice that measure names is blue and blue in Tableau means discrete. We'll link a video about blue versus green fields down below. Discrete fields are always gonna generate headings and labels, and we can see that that's exactly what's going on here. Tableau has generated, uh, through this measure names pill, a sales and a profit label so that I can understand exactly which bar is what uh, without me having to prompt Tableau to do it. So that's really cool. And the last thing that we need to see is that on our filters card, we have this measure names filter. And by clicking and adding in more measures, I can increase or decrease the number of measures. So that kind of works similarly to the measure values card, but only in the sense that I can include or exclude measures. I can't move around the measures, uh, you know, the order of the measures in this filters card. So by unchecking them, I can do the same thing. Okay, that being said, what exactly is the difference between measure names and measure values? Well, Tableau thinks of measure values as a measure and it thinks of measure names as a dimension. So one way to illustrate this is by dropping measure values on the color tab in our marks card. So Tableau's generated this uh, color legend for us. Uh, from a lowest value of 39,000 to a highest of 725,000. Where exactly are those coming from? Well, I think what's helpful to know is that when you have measure values at work, what Tableau is doing is it's almost like squashing all the measures into one single measure, and it's treating those as one cohesive unit. So this 39,000 is this smallest profit amount in our central region but the 725,000 is the biggest sales amount in the West region. So what Tableau is doing is instead of seeing profit and sales as their own individual values, it's actually treating all the measures in our worksheet as a single measure and is then giving us a color legend based off that like super measure as it were. So that's the way that Tableau thinks about measure values. Measure values operates as a measure. Whereas if I were to replace measure values on the color tab with our measure names field, you'll see that I don't get this color spectrum. I just get two block colors, you know, one for sales, one for profit. And why? Because measure names operates as a dimension. So what Tableau is doing is it's giving me one color for each measure that's in my worksheet. So it's not lumping them together. It's helping me differentiate them on the individual measures. So measure values operates as a measure and measure names operates as a dimension. 
Let's look at one more example in this cross tab. I feel like we all use cross tabs. I've just kept this one super simple. We're just looking at sum of sales by region and category. So by double clicking on profit, I'm gonna add profit and sales into here. And we have a similar situation in the sense that measure names appears on the rows shelf and on my filters card. And these operate the same way, uh, being that I can add in quantity, any other measure by clicking that in there, and I can reorder my measures down here in my measure values card. By adding in another dimension, let's say we're gonna add in subcategory, one thing that measure names allows us to do in a cross tab that a lot of people get quite frustrated with is move the headings of our measures around in a cross tab. So by moving that measure names pill, all the measure headings are moving around too. And that's really helpful to be able to manipulate that cross tab to get it exactly how you want. So to do a quick recap, measure names and measure values are auto-generated fields by Tableau uh, and we can treat measure names as a dimension and measure values as a measure. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and we'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.